let us solve some questions on average in this question set. So the first question, Kumar obtained 75, 60, 72, 83 and 55 marks out of 100 in Maths, English, Hindi, Science and History. What are his average marks? So you have the numbers, take the sum, divide it by count and you get the average. So average is equal to, let us take the sum of these marks. So 75 plus 60 plus 72 plus 83 plus 55 divided by, let us count the number of subjects, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So divided by 5. This is equal to, if you add all of these numbers, you get 345 divided by 5. And that's equal to 69. And you have the answer. Option B. Question 2. What is the average of first 5 multiples of 3? Okay, let us list the first 5 multiples of 3. So the first multiple of 3 is 3. 3 2s are 6. 3 3s are 9. 3 4s are 12. 3 5s are 15. So these are the first 5 multiples of 3. Average is equal to sum divided by count. So the sum is 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 divided by there are 5 multiples. So divided by 5. You get 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Plus 12 is 30. Plus 15 is 45. So 45 divided by 5 which is equal to 5 nines are 45. So 45 divided by 5 gives you 9. And there is the answer. Okay, another similar question. You have to find the average of all numbers between 7 and 33 which are divisible by 5. So let us list all numbers which are between 7 and 33 and are divisible by 5. So the closest number which is greater than 7 and divisible by 5 is 10. The next number is 15. Then 15 plus 5 is 20. Then 25. Then 30. And then 35. But 35 is greater than 33. So we are not going to take 35. So these are the numbers. You have to take the average of that. So average is equal to sum upon count. So the sum is 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So 5. 10 plus 15 is 25. 25 plus 20 is 45. So let's write 45 plus 25 plus 30 is 55 divided by 5 which is equal to 45 plus 55 is 100 divided by 5 which is 20. So the answer is option B. Question 4. What is the average of first 10 prime numbers? So to solve this question you must remember at least the first 10 prime numbers. So the first 10 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, then we have 11, then 13, after that 17, then 19, then you have 23, then you have 29. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 prime numbers. So let us add them and divide them by 10. So average is equal to sum upon count. So the sum is, let's do it directly, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17, plus 11 is 28. So we have 28 plus 13 plus 17 is 30 plus 19 plus 23 plus 29 divided by 10 because there are 10 prime numbers. This is equal to 28 plus 30 is 58 plus 19 plus 23 is 9 plus 3 is 12. 1 is carry. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 29 divided by 10. This is equal to 58 plus 42 is 8 plus 2 is 10. 1 is carry. 5 plus 4 is 9. Plus 1 is 100. Plus 29 by 10. 
this is equal to 129 by 10 that is 12.9 so we have the answer 12.9 okay time for the last and a bit difficult question the average of ABC is given which is M and AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 0 what could be the average of A square B square and C square well the average of A B C is M so we can write A plus B plus C which is the sum divided by 3 which is the count is equal to M the average that is given therefore A plus B plus C is equal to 3 M now what could be the average of A square B square and C square the same let us find the sum of a square b square c square which is a square plus b square plus c square divided by the count that is 3 this is we have to find out now this expression a b plus b c plus c a has been purposely given so you have to make use of that how will you make use of that let us calculate the square of a plus b plus c whole square so this can be written as a plus B plus C whole square and that is you have the formula A plus B whole square which is A square plus 2A this is B plus C plus B plus C whole square so this is equal to let me write it here A square plus 2A times B plus 2A times C plus evaluate this B plus C whole square this comes out as b square plus 2bc plus c square this is equal to a square plus b square plus c square then plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc this is we can take the two common out of them so that we can write 2 times AB plus BC plus AC and this is 0 so what remains is A square plus B square plus C square so A square plus B square plus C square is equal to A plus B plus C whole square and from this we can write this equal to we know the value of A square plus B square plus C square which is a plus B plus C whole square divided by 3 which is equal to again we know the value of A plus B plus C which is 3M so 3M square divided by 3 and that is 9M square divided by 3 which is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 so 3M square there you go option B